Many thanks to Joe, Jaren, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Pandemonium, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. There are many tips for Daisy, but some tips are called pro tips. And these tips are so pro that I guarantee you you will not know at least one of these 10. But if you do, I will apologize to you for wasting your time in the comments. In Daisy 1.17, the cooking system changed so that you can cook without fat or water in cooking containers. The punishment for doing so, though, is nutritional loss on the food that becomes cooked. However, these changes made cooking with fat a bit broken, so now when you cook with fat, you will lose even more nutritional value on the food that you're cooking somehow, and you lose a very large amount of nutritional value on the fat too, which is one of the best foods in the game. If that wasn't enough to dissuade you, cooking with fat is slower than cooking without water or fat and the food will still become burned after 15 seconds and as a bonus it will consume some fat for burning your food. Basically the first pro tip in this video is do not cook with fat at least at the moment until this is fixed but if you do want to cook fat because it's very beneficial use a sharpened stick as it retains 100% of the nutritional value. While browsing how fishing works, to get a better chance of fishing up the now breakable cooking pot, I came across a special piece of code in Daisy that simulates how fishing works in real life. During the day, the sun becomes too hot for fish in real life and they swim down deeper into the water to cool down, making them harder to catch, which to my amazement is simulated in Daisy by reducing the chance of catching a fish in the day by 50%. So the pro tip here is, fishing from 5am to 9am in the morning will net you twice as much fish when using bait. We're using bait between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. in the evening will do the exact same, twice the amount of fish. If an infected is alerted at all, even if it's not alerted by you, it is impossible to stealth kill it as they will be aware of you before you get inside stealth kill range. At around 5 meters they will be alerted to your presence. This is also the case if you're within 2 meters of the infected and they're not even alerted to anything at all, they will, after 2 seconds, become alerted to your presence because for some reason, infected are psychic in Daisy. Even if you remain completely silent and you don't touch them, they will be alerted to you within 2 seconds. So as a pro tip here, never sneak up on an alerted infected and when you do sneak up to an infected that is not alerted to your presence or anybody else's presence, stealth kill them as quickly as possible to avoid their psychic powers. The cooking stand is a very useful item in Daisy as it allows you to cook over a fireplace almost anywhere on the map. The problem is, it's 8 slots long and cannot go into the shoulder slot which means you need a bulky backpack to carry one. However, a broom does fit inside the shoulder slot and can be broken down without any tools at all into the ingredients for making the cooking stand and even leaves you with one stick remaining to craft a fireplace with. Alternatively, you can sharpen the long wooden stick you get from the broom and then craft a fireplace with three wooden sticks. Very pro. Vehicles have increased torque and acceleration in 1.17, capable of climbing most, if not all, of the hills in DayZ, but this means that water consumption from the radiator also drains faster too. The absolute minimum amount of water you need in a vehicle for the engine not to explode in your face while driving is four full water bottles or four full canteens, or you can have two full cooking pots, basically four liters of water. As a rule of thumb, if you have difficulty counting to the number four, if the engine's water gauge here is pointing anywhere on the right side, your engine is going to take damage when you drive. And as a proness tip, disconnecting the radiator from a vehicle will completely drain it of water. The bone knife added in 1.17 is incredibly useful and only requires two bones placed in your hands to be crafted. However, if you combine it with a small stone or a large stone, you only need one bone to craft the bone knife, doubling the amount of knives you can get with the bones. When using a small or a large stone, you won't consume them either, just one bone will be consumed. Or if you're feeling extra lazy and you don't want to get a stone, you can just walk up to most rocks or boulders in the game and craft a bone knife using that, again consuming only one bone. Pro tip. Foot wraps are pretty OP in Daisy and can be crafted with just two rags, meaning that most useless pieces of clothing that you find on the floor in Daisy can be broken down with the 18 bone knives that you can get from a player. They are difficult for other players to hear. They are very quiet to infected too, allowing you to sprint crouch up to infected to stealth kill them, making light work of them. As a comparison, boots won't allow you to stealth kill on concrete, even at normal crouch speed. So foot wraps are incredibly powerful compared. The foot wraps are also repaired very easily with 
rags or the white sewing kit, but two rags to craft more is probably the best way to repair them anyway. Finally, for the foot wraps, they are the only shoes in Daisy that can be wrung dry. All of the shoes in Daisy require you to take them off next to a fireplace and risk getting a bleed on your foot, making all of the shoes in Daisy kind of obsolete compared to these god tier shoes. Fireplaces, the torches and the brooms cannot be lit if it's raining, but some players have discovered that if you stand on top of them, you can block the rain and then you can light them. While this does work for the torches and the broom, which by the way can be lit in your hand anyway so rain doesn't really affect them, the fireplace though will burn you if you use this method, removing a portion of your health. To avoid this, like a lot of players, you can shelter under a tree to avoid the rain, or you can move a vehicle on top of the fireplace and light it, or if you're a pro daisy player, place an item on top of the fire to block the rain. The item you place on top can be almost any item in the game which will stop the fireplace becoming extinguished from the rain too and the item won't take damage while blocking the rain. With the five new ways to gain the heat buffer stat and warm up in 1.17 comes the ability to dry your clothes with additional sources too. However, while these five do warm you up, only the torch, fire broom, gas stove and fireplace dry your clothes in Daisy. The fireplace did it before, but these three are new to 1.17. So vehicles cannot dry your clothes even if you're inside them and generators cannot either. When placing a torch or a broom on a hard surface, it will lay completely flat on the ground. But when you place it on a soft surface like grass or dirt, it will stand up. But this doesn't work with similar items that were added in this patch, such as the pitchfork. So I believe this is intended to allow light that comes from the fire broom and the torches to travel further out. As shown here, it does make the light go further. And also they can be used as decorations for your base. If you knew all 10 of these tips, write a comment saying you knew all of them and that you're a daisy pro. And I will apologize to you personally for wasting your time with this ridiculous video. But if you didn't know just one, you have to like this video because those are the rules that I've just made up. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.